What's going on everyone? It's Stranger here and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. In today's video is a popular topic. I've been getting a lot of requests on commercial drum and bass, specifically on how do you do those big sounding synths and basses that producers such as Subfocus, Dimension, and Metric do. Now what I notice about their music is there's a heavy influence on 80s music such as 80s rock and new wave. But comment down below and let me know what is your favorite commercial drum and bass track. Now, of course, I want you guys to keep engaging with my channel. However, why learn from me when you can learn from the man himself? And Metric does an amazing masterclass, and I'll leave a link in the description below. He goes through the nitty gritty details on his process and approach on creating a track. And I think you'll learn a lot from it. I enjoyed watching it and learned a few things as well. And I always encourage my students to learn from as many producers as possible because every producer has a different technique process and approach so the more people you learn from the better you could become now hopefully you'll still stick around for my video i'm going to show you my approach for the sound and i'll show you a couple options how to twist the sound and make it your own now you can get pretty deep and advanced with this style of production however we're going to keep it pretty general today and if this video is popular then we'll do level two doing some more advanced techniques and I'm just going to give you guys the preset for free in the description below. All I ask for you is to keep engaging with my channel, like the video, comment below, share the video. And if you want to see more content, then hit the subscribe and bell notification because it's really your engagement that helps my channel grow. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we have Serum here and we're going to be sticking to one oscillator. Most of the time, a sawtooth is used. However, I'm going to show you at the end how we can try different waveforms to get your own sound with this. Now, the first step is to increase the unison mode. This will fatten up the sound, add some stereo depth to it. Now, anywhere from above one to the max of 16 is good. It's up to how you would like your sound. So notice the higher the number, the more fat the sound. Now adjust the detune. We want it nice and tight. I say anywhere before 0.3 is good before you get that phasing. I'm gonna go for 0 0.07. Now we're gonna shave off that high end. So we're gonna turn on the filter and we're gonna be using a low pass. And again, you can experiment with the other low passes. There's the low pass 24 we could use. Also, there's some other really good low passes that you can use under the miscellaneous section. The scream low pass is really good, as well as the French and German. I'll use the scream today. Now, the type of bass sound that people such as Metric and Self Focus use has kind of a 80s rock kind of influence. So it has this really quick attack. It almost sounds like an electric guitar. So to emulate this, we're going to be using the LFO as an envelope. So I'll turn on the envelope mode in LFO 1 and we're in the quarter note rate. Now I'll bring the first point over. So now we have kind of an attack going downward. Now let's apply LFO 1 to the cutoff. Now make sure it's not on bipolar mode. You can get out of it by holding alt shift and click on the horseshoe icon here. So notice now you have an attack. Now you can adjust the modulation amount. It's up to you how much you want. You may need to fine tune it after we add more effects to it because it's hard to distinguish how your filter will impact the sound until you hear it with the effects on top. So we'll leave it as is for now. Now you can play with the slope of the attack. So you can go for a tighter attack if you make it a little more convex like this. So now you're getting more of that 80s bass sound. Now we can add a bit of drive. Now let's go into the effects section. Now we can turn on hyper dimension to give it some more stereo depth. Bring the mix down a bit so it's not too extreme. Now I like hitting the retrig mode. It just ensures that every time I hit the note, it sounds the same. So now we're going to add some distortion to bring out some of those harmonics. Now just increase the drive. 
Let's assign LFO 1 to the drive. So now the attack has a little more distortion to it. And now let's turn on the compressor and we're going to be using the multi-band mode. This crushes certain bands on the EQ. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use these bands here. Now the middle one is the mids and really we want to distort the mids. So we're going to bring the mids up. And then the lower the threshold, the more it's going to crush that signal. So around negative seven, I think works. Now to get a more pure bass sound, we're going to have to high pass the mid bass and add an additional sub bass. So turn on the EQ and set it to high pass mode. And I would high pass anywhere from 100 to 200 Hertz that would remove the low end from the mid bass. Now you're going to have to adjust the Q, which is how sharp that EQ falls off. I think around there works. You might have to adjust the frequency up a bit. Okay, that's sounding good. And then we can go and turn on the sub oscillator and just turn on the direct out button so the signal goes direct out and doesn't get smashed by the effects. Okay, so now we have the basic sound. We're gonna put some notes in and then we'll do some additional processing. So as I mentioned, this style of music is very influenced by 80s music, such as 80s rock and new wave. And bass lines from 80s music use a lot of eighth note rhythms. So make sure you're on the right octave. Octave zero will give you that bass. And we'll use A minor to keep it easy for you guys. So and we're gonna start with the key of A. So my grid is on the eighth note section and you can start with just pure eight notes like this. And remember with A minor, we only use the white keys. So that makes it easy to write on. So a popular thing to do in 80s music is to shift the off notes, which would be the eighth notes in between of the beat. For example, you can shift this note, move it up. Again, I'm using the white notes, so. Now we can play it with a beat. Okay, so let's try another melody so you can really get the concept down. Again, just make sure you're in the eighth note grid and I have a four bar pattern here. And simply we're gonna be playing one bass note per bar. So we'll start with A and remember when A minor, so we'll play the white keys and I'll play A and then F and then maybe a D, and then maybe D all the way across like this. We can also change the last four notes, bring it up to G. So yeah, lots of options here and I encourage you guys to learn the A minor. It's really just the white keys. And you can mess around with different note changes on every bar. It's pretty simple and a good practice to start learning how to write bass lines. Okay, so now that we have the bass line written, let's add some additional effects to really bring the sound out. Now I have an audio effect rock here which splits our bass signal between the high frequencies and the lows. So I'll play it for you. I'll solo the highs. And here's the low. So I'm going to be processing only the highs here. Now I have shown you guys in a previous video, how do you add this effect rock? So if you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, I'll give you guys the effect rock for free as a preset so you can apply it to your track. But basically, we're going to be adding some processing to the highs. So again, I mentioned that there's a heavy 80s influence on this style of drum and bass, especially 80s rock and 80s new wave. So 
to replicate that sound, we can use saturator to bring out those harmonics to make it sound a little more like a guitar, kind of like a distorted guitar. So we can bring the drive up. Now you're gonna have to adjust it to taste. I'm thinking anywhere from four and up is good. Now another cool effect you can apply is the amp, which is a guitar amp simulator. So that'll give you more of that distorted electric guitar sound. Now this effect is outputting in mono mode. So if you want to keep those stereo depth, you want to turn off mono mode. Now you can try the different presets here. Or you can adjust it yourself. You can bring up the mids. And here's the highs. And then there's different styles such as blues, rock, and lead. I'm liking the clean one has a nice clean feel. Now, if you guys have native instruments complete, then Guitar Rig is another really cool plugin you can apply to the sound for that rock sound. But if you don't have it, then Ableton Stock does just as fine. Now, finally, another effect you can add is some side chain compression to get some pumping on the sound. So we can add a compressor here and then just turn on side chain and we're going to trigger this every time the kick hits. So every time the kick hits, there's this pumping effect to the bass and we're applying it to the top end only. Just to bring the threshold down so it catches that kick and then increase the ratio. Now, as I mentioned, I'd like to show you a couple of ways you can twist the sound and make it your own. And one of the first options is you can try different waveforms. Now, I just turned off the guitar amp so you can hear the signal a bit more clearly. And I found that Debussy gave me a cool result. Also, Crush Wub was a nice option as well. The monster wavetables also gave me cool results. Now also play with the envelope, adjust the shape. Play with the cutoff. So the point here is to experiment, play with the parameters and find a sound that is your own by learning the technique here. Now I couldn't help myself when I was listening to Metric's Gravity, it had a really nice hook. So this is the bass line he was using for that song. Now he uses D minor here, but again, he uses the eighth note rhythm for his bass line and he just plays the note throughout like this. So. Now to get that vocal lead in gravity, I found this vocal loop. And then I just took one section here. And then I had the melody here. So let's hear it all together. Oh 
man, now I'm getting that itch to rave, guys. So that's pretty much the sound, guys. I just wanted to keep it a little more basic today. And if there's enough demand, then we'll do another video with more in-depth advanced techniques for this style of drum and bass. And remember, the concept here is that we have one wavetable in unison mode. We're modulating that filter to create an attack on that bass so you get that 80s style of bass and then we're applying distortion and multi-band compression to really bring out those harmonics on the bass to get kind of that electric guitar bass sound and then you can apply some further processing by creating an audio effects rack and then processing the mids and highs with additional saturation and distortion so I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did hit the like button comment and share the video and that's pretty much it for today guys thanks again for watching keep practicing and we'll see you at the next video